Hello, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a writing vlog for you featuring an explanation about this rest. <laughs> I heard someone call it writer's rest, which I thought was funny, but basically, you know, through hours, days, spent at the computer, I, I got carpal tunnel. And so I want to show you some changes I've made to my own sort of routine, my own sort of process, um, in order to basically hopefully not ever have this flare up again and not go through the pain and the annoyance. So I will say that it, I, where do I start with this? I would say about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, I started experiencing wrist pain right around this part of this wrist. And it was always after I'd been working at the computer for a while and I kind of just dismissed it. Um, don't do that. I kind of just dismissed it as something that like, well, yeah, I've been sitting for a while. You know, sometimes my back hurts or my neck hurts because I've been sitting. For those of you who have been on this channel for the past year or so, um, you will know that at one point I, <laughs> tweaked my back and then in January I tweaked my neck and I made some changes from there. Um, so you think I would have taken the side as it was, but alas, I did not. So after, you know, some continual pain, maybe it was a little bit longer, just kind of a discomfort. Um, even when I was out on walks or something, I'd feel kind of like, you know, you want to roll, you almost like want to roll your wrists and be like, maybe that'll solve the problem. For people who like to crack their knuckles and stuff, I can also crack my wrists. And so I was like, oh, that'll fix it. <laughs> Again, that's to say I did not listen to the signs. So it wasn't until my wrist was hurting me at night um, that was actually making it more difficult to fall asleep that I was like, oh no, there's an actual problem. Um, so <sighs> anyways, listen to your body, listen to your body's cues earlier. It's fine. So again, this is going to be a writing routine vlog, changes I've made, little things I've purchased that have helped, like that sort of thing. Along with talking about my Camp NaNoWriMo project is that is what I'm currently working on. <laughs> spending most of my writing time on the co-written project with my brother, which is very exciting. So I, I hope you enjoy this video and I will join you again at the end uh, to just generally discuss listening to your body and not being a dumbass. <laughs> All right, first writing session of the day means we're going to start here. Put on the wrist guard, make sure the height is right, and get started. Ben has taken over the other desk. All right, so I'm currently working on the Camp NaNoWriMo project with my brother. I took this weekend off, which was much needed after trying to enter a competition recently, and that last push. But that means that Friday was the first day of camp, and I, <laughs> and I wrote a lot of words on Friday, but they didn't stick. Like I kept having to go back over and retry to find the voice. So it was like, I get, you know, nine, 10 paragraphs deep and be like, it's just not feeling right. <laughs> And so I'd start over, and especially since I have the opening chapter one, I'm like, I really just need to nail this. This is how I feel for a lot of first chapters, is like, if I don't nail that, it I find it hard to move on. So I just know at this point that I need to nail it. That said, finally got it. <laughs> so today is going to be trying to play a little bit of camp catch up, um, but also, Let's take care of this wrist, right? So we're actually at the stage where I don't have to wear it uh, all the time. The actual pain for the most part is gone, but I still like to use it while I'm working. And also how I've just kind of redone my space entirely to, to be more healthy, <laughs> to stand up more like I'm doing now and to just shift around so that it's not, you know, eight hours a day in the same position, which I think is part of the problem. Um, I did think it was interesting. So I'm actually, I'm right-handed. 
uh, this hand is the one that does not use the mouse. So I, I thought the mouse hand would have more issues, but um, it sounded like everyone told me that like, you know, carpal tunnel will affect it's gonna do what's gonna do, right? But a lot of people have it in their non-dominant hand or their non-mouse hand, because this one at least is moving around more, whereas this one's usually stuck in one position. <laughs> the more you know. So anyways, what I've done in this space, besides actually using my standing desk more, which is good, and I do have a mat that I can stand on, so. Whoops. The desk is right here. That way I'm not standing on the hard ground. This also helps to keep it more eye level than when I used to be at the desk. Um, I also changed out my chair so that I could be higher up um, so that I'm more like parallel. You'll see that later. Also when Vin's not taking up the spot. <laughs> so right now the male main character with his artist cousin and the trader cousin are going to explore. They think it's just an exploration where his artist cousin is going to show them to this secret theater where these kind of underground performances are happening as their family has basically outlawed this sort of thing. Again, think like a dystopian footloose <laughs> kind of meets Romeo and Juliet sort of, at least from the tragic angle, right? So anyways, <laughs> Or one of the characters. <laughs> so they're going out as far as I have is kind of setting up, you know, you don't want an info dump, but I need to like slowly explain some of the family dynamics. So that's kind of what I'm doing as they're um, walking as artist cousins, kind of giving them a little surprise. Um, and then I need to describe the theater and then see the performance. So I think if I could get through to the theater, um, I'm going to Call it for the moment. It's going to get up to 94 degrees today. Because the other part of this, um, and just in general with some of the like health problems I've had this year is that I'm just not getting up enough. I'm, I've been very stationary. And so I'm gonna try and go on a longer walk and uh, listen to an audiobook or a podcast or something. But I wanna try and get more of the words in first. Either way, I'm basically like, I either don't get the words and I go on the full walk or I get the words and I'm a little bit hot, but one of these days I'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, so I figured out one of the main times I need my brace is actually when I'm driving. So like now I can take it off and I'll be fine. But it's one of those continued times I drove to my parents' house the other day and they're like, you know, 30 minutes away and I could, I could already feel it. So anyways, that's actually what re-inspired me to not only make this video, but also to like start wearing it again in the moments that I need it. now I get to go back. Also, the beginnings of the uh, <laughs> reverse mustache. My goodness. Anyway, so breaks have been so incredibly helpful. Uh, now I'm really excited to go back. I did get the main character and his cousins up to the theater. So this is actually, uh, you know, they're in this mob family that runs this town. And so to, <sighs> I, I, it's an opening chapter, so there's stuff we need to thread in there. And obviously this is all new. So basically the forest I was describing before that they were walking through, not that new. They go adventuring all the time. This theater and this like abandoned rundown building, bar, theater underneath. Like it's gonna be very fun, especially because the guy, he goes back to try and find it in another chapter and like really struggles and can't find it. So anyways, it's kind of a, I'm having to be like, not 
clever about it, but like kind of, kind of clever about it. <laughs> it's like a fun puzzle, this sort of mystery. And it reminds me of how often mystery plays a part in other genres. Um, anyways, just lots I thought about on this vlog while I was listening to my maintenance space podcast. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get back on the road and uh, take a shower and get rid of this reverse, reverse stash. <laughs> this is one of those things where I know the reason that I didn't do all of this before was just because it is like ever so slightly annoying to have to undo cords and redo them. But ultimately it is so much better for me. So it's just getting into the habit of making sure like, okay, if I worked from here in the morning, I work from here in the afternoon. Sometimes I work from the desk, sometimes the couch just pointing out all the animals now. <laughs> they are very good co-writers, you know. What could help me is if I just got like multiple HDMI cords instead of only using the same one. But it's really not that big of a deal to unplug, you know. <laughs> the other thing I got that's helped a lot is this little uh, like cool foamy uh, thing that helped where you can just like rest your wrists. I didn't realize when I'm not working on uh, my laptop instead of like straight down there's like you know your wrists are basically like this so oh yeah helps a lot. Are these all absolutely things that like I probably should have known beforehand? Yeah. Have I heard other people getting carpal tunnel? Yeah. Did I like I'd never gotten it before. I literally my entire career, both when I was in corporate and now has been spending hours a day on a computer, right? So I don't know if I thought that I was just like immune or, <laughs> or what. So anyways, again, just setting up my space. What I would really like to do for right here, um, the stand helps a lot. So the stand, I'm not like looking down, but what I would like is to, uh, I can angle these up a little bit, um, but what I'd like is to just get something I can rest my computer on or my monitor on. But you know, for right now, it's good and will be made better by the brace. <laughs> Hiya. Also, I'll leave a link down below to the person that I uh, listened to their video and figured out that this was the one that I wanted to buy. So yeah, they were very fun, but I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> One of the things I've already made the change for this year with streaming is I keep what I'm working on in front of me now instead of having the Twitch stream in front of me, you know, because the webcam's there. It, it made sense at the time, but what really happened was that rather than facing like this straight ahead, I was turned completely like this when we're doing sprints for like 40 minutes or something. 90 minutes sometimes and it's just like anyways I was getting some neck problems right so that's that has helped so much honestly that and doing yoga pre this injury but this is the last week before I'm going to start up my yoga again and kind of build up that wrist strength and stuff because that's the other aspect of it if you have stronger wrists some people have said that that helps them and I'm at a point where it's like, well, I might as well try anything, especially with yoga, which helps so many other things that I was having issues with, right? So, okay. Pam NaNoWriMo, day five. Writing sprints, exclamation. Bring that over here. Turn on the light to the side <laughs> so that we get a little bit going and, and we are ready to rock. We just finished writing Micah. I'm going to take a wrist break and we're going to go hang out with the puppies outside, I think. <laughs> I'm free. I finished my game. <laughs> Bye.
All right, and at night is the last time that I will uh, wear this. At night is also when I had some of the worst pain and what finally drove me to figure out what was bothering me. <laughs> Just because it was, it was at the point that it was keeping me up the like, and it's not like a piercing pain, just like a really dull kind of c continual agony. <laughs> That makes it sound a little bit more dramatic, but it was actually keeping me up and I was having a hard time falling asleep. And as someone who already has kind of a hard time falling asleep, it was like just another thing. So anyways, helps a lot. And I'm hopeful that if I do all of these things, I should never have this problem again. So at this point, it's kind of like preventative work as well that I'm finding is really important. But I am going to, I'm gonna continue reading my books. Um, it might just be a, non-fiction night uh, but anyhow i will let future me figure out how to end this video <laughs> okay good night okay so as you saw throughout the video basically the biggest changes for me have been wrist guardy kind of things um this actual brace also just changing locations a lot not being stuck in one place for hours upon hours at a time, right? So the longest I actually stay anywhere at this point, or I try to, is during streams. And otherwise I will move spots afterwards or like walk around or do just do anything. <laughs> um, and obviously I'm doing this for my wrist, but it's one of those that like, this is just gonna help, period. Um, I made the change with Twitch where I now just look straight ahead at the project I'm working on and not like this the whole time. So I'm not constantly straightening myself. And it, it seems so obvious now, but it's these kind of things where I'm just like, why do I do it to myself? Why? <laughs> so even though I listen to no one's advice, I hope you all will listen to had I, I didn't, I didn't learn from my past times. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is be smarter than me and treat your body as well as you possibly can, right? So I'm lucky to be able to move around. I, you know, have multiple places to write in. You know, I'm, there's not a lot of noise in the house besides when the boyfriend's on a meeting or something, like I can go shut myself elsewhere. I know that's not true for everyone, but it's one of those things where it's like, whatever you can do, you should do. So that's the end of my, end of my PSA. Uh, if you have experienced carpal tunnel, if you have, you know, hurt or tweaked yourself in any way just from hours spent, I would love to hear about your story. I know I asked this uh, at the end of the Worldwide Write-A-Thon because that was my first big writing weekend while still like kind of in a bit of pain, to be honest. Um, it has mostly subsided now and I'm excited, as I mentioned, to get back into yoga and just continuing to find stuff and do stuff to help my body, which is only going to help the rest of me later, right? You know, just one of those things where I want to be able to write as much as I can and do all of my online stuff and all these things, but I can't do that if I'm hurting myself. So anyways, let me know about your experience. I would be very curious to know. Also let me know how Camp NaNoWriMo is going for you. If you're participating or just any of your writing updates, I've had a very eventful past March. So I would love to hear about others, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.